Hey yo, what up? It's Don. <laughs> Family here. We are the Soul Brothers. The Soul Brothers. Shouts out to the Soul Squadron. What do we got? We got a first impressions for you. Shout out to the homie Connor Livingston, Locker Room Sports. That's the plug right now. That is the plug, He dude. stays getting us fitted with, you know, Under Armour Adidas shit. Yeah. And he sent these over. This is the UA Torch, Torch Fade. Fade. Da, da, da. Okay, so. So uh, it's a 100 Dora shoe. Chip. And uh, it's a budget model, basically. So we're going to treat it and review it like a budget model. And we, if it performs good, we're going to compare it to better shoes yeah. but if it doesn't then we're gonna compare it to its budget yeah. brothers or whatever yeah. you want to call it but um yeah let's get right into it the the bottom clutch fit drive 2 traction yeah basically basically the same thing and also the charge same thing yeah so um yeah i didn't really like it super firm super firm and then um uh, the sock liner is a EVA molded EVA molded EVA sock liner for those of you who don't know is a insole, insole. I don't like the word sock liner why do they say sock I like liner? insole better it I, I sock liner it feels like it's the yeah like the in like the inside. lines the inside of the ankle is that what it is no it's not it's an insole it's weird but anyways uh the traction <clears throat> is very sticky it feels like but it gets a good amount of dust yeah I already hit the court once in them it does pick up some dust. So we'll see about that yeah. sheet. And then uh, the charge cushioning is... Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, the, the Curry 2 has speed form, which does not allow for an insole, so you can feel the charge cushion better. But this has an insole. Yeah. And it has like, um, some, you know that thing that's underneath that insole, it's kind of weird. What? You know, like, it's like a hard, like, cardboard, like, oh, plastic yeah. piece or whatever. Yeah. It has that. So it's harder to feel the charge cushioning, which is kind of a disappointment. But um, we'll see about it. It's very responsive. Yeah, but, super you know. responsive. Uh, not really going to be big for impact protection. Probably. I don't know. We haven't really gone in and broken it in yet. Yes, yes, but moving yes. on to the upper, uh, it's a weird, it's, you know, it just feels real cheap. It feels pretty cheap. But it's like a mesh foam, a foamed backed mesh, and then this is actually leather here. Yeah, so on the, the sides. On the side is leather, but uh, it doesn't feel too nice. No. Um, I thought it was synthetic, but it says leather on the side. So um, yeah. there you go. And then there's a internal TPU heel counter, and this is really stiff material. Um, maybe it will probably break in, I think, and then it'll get a little softer. But we'll see. But initially, it's really really stiff. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's a one booty upper basically. Right. But then the leather is like the outer. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like D Lillard's, you know, but not really. You know, you see how this this tongue, yeah, yeah. you know. And then um, because there's there is a tongue, but there isn't. It's really weird. Yeah. There's like uh three inches of tongue. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird, but um. Uh, and as far as fit, uh, uh, it runs probably true to size. True to much. size. I went, yeah, it's true to size for me. And uh, it's not really narrow or wide. It's kind of normal, you know? Yeah, for me, it's kind of narrow. Really? Yeah. Right. I think when they scale shoes up, it's really different sure. on how they sh scale shoes up, especially each shoe. Mm -hmm. For me, a smaller size, it's a little bit narrow, but um, more on the normal side, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but for you, it's normal? It's, so for me, it runs pretty normal. So if you have a bigger size, then maybe it'll be a little bit more normal size, you know? Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm pretty pretty excited to try these out. Um, I'm, I actually... Uh, Under Armour does make pretty good budget model shoes. Yeah, they do. Um, Adidas also makes really good budget model shoes. Nike makes okay budget model shoes. Yeah. But anyways, uh, we'll see how these are. We're gonna hop in on these tonight at the gym. At the gymnasium. And uh, well, guys, we'll, we'll be back with a performance review ASAP if you're interested in these. Yep. And we'll let you know, maybe they're dope. Yep. All right, later. Peace. <laughs>